Forget what you thought you knew about stealth. A Chinese research team just revealed a new coating that can handle temperatures of 1000 degrees Celsius, and it could make their fighter jets practically invisible to most modern radar. This isn't just a small step forward, it's a breakthrough that could rewrite the rules of air combat and nudge the global balance of power. This smart, paper-thin skin doesn't just hide a jet, it actively tricks the very systems made to hunt it. So, what is this tech, how does it work, and what does it really mean for the future of war? For decades, air dominance has been all about stealth. The power to fly undetected in enemy airspace is probably the biggest advantage in a modern fight. The US wrote the book on this with planes like the F-117 Nighthawk and B-2 Spirit, and took it to the next level with the F-22 Raptor and F-35 Lightning II. These jets use two main tricks, sharp angles to bounce radar waves away and special radar absorbent materials, or RAM, to soak up the rest. But this tech has always had a huge weakness, a problem engineers have been wrestling with for years, heat and speed. When a jet tears through the air at supersonic speeds, the friction is intense. The nose and wing edges can heat up to hundreds, even thousands, of degrees. This causes two big headaches. First, the heat damages the delicate radar absorbent materials, making them less effective and leading to expensive, long repairs. Second, it creates a massive heat signature. A jet might be invisible to radar, but it can glow like a bonfire on an enemy's thermal scope. That's been the trade-off with stealth. Going fast means getting hot, and getting hot means getting seen. Well, that was the case until now. Now, China has unveiled what many see as a game-changing answer to this problem. A research team has created a smart, super-tough aircraft coating that changes the whole game. This isn't just tougher paint. It's an ultra-thin, flexible metasurface that can take up to 1000 degrees Celsius. That's 1832 degrees Fahrenheit. Without losing its stealthiness. So, what's a metasurface? Think of it as a material that's been engineered on a microscopic level to mess with electromagnetic waves in ways nature can't. It's less like a sponge that just soaks up radar and more like a smart shield that actively cancels it out. And get this. The new coating is just 0.1 millimeters thick. That means it can be built right into the plane's thermal insulation layer without adding weight or messing with its shape. The coating is also incredibly tough. It's been tested against airflow at 200 meters per second, which mimics the punishing conditions of high-speed flight, and it held up. This resilience means it not only works under extreme pressure but keeps working mission after mission with a lot less maintenance. The blend of heat resistance, durability, and active radar absorption is what makes this a real leap forward. To really get why this is such a big deal, you have to understand how it handles radar. Old-school stealth depends a lot on the jet's shape. The sharp angles of the F-117 are the smooth curves of the B-2, to scatter radar waves. This new Chinese metasurface is different. It achieves its stealth with something called tunable impedance. Basically, it can adjust its properties to match the air around it, fooling radar waves into entering the material instead of bouncing off. Once the waves are inside, they're turned into heat and scattered, making the plane effectively vanish from a radar screen. The results are incredible. According to the research, this coating can slash radar reflection down to minus 42 decibels. In electronic warfare, that's an almost unbelievable level of invisibility. Now, how does this stack up against what the US has? The US Air Force uses advanced coatings, like those on the F-35, which are designed to be durable, weather-resistant, and cut down on the massive maintenance costs of stealth jets. But they haven't been reported to have this same mix of extreme heat resistance and active radar cancellation. While the US has been focused on making stealth more practical and sustainable, China seems to have jumped ahead in pure performance specifically targeting that high-speed, high-heat vulnerability. It's not just an improvement, it's a totally different playbook, and it could give their jets a crucial edge. So, what does this mean for who rules the skies? The implications are huge. First, 
it could seriously close the stealth tech gap. By solving the heat and durability puzzle, China could put top-tier stealth on a wider variety of aircraft, even those built for pure speed. Their J-20, Mighty Dragon, fighters are already being deployed, and with production estimates suggesting hundreds of these jets are already in service, a fleet-wide upgrade would be a serious challenge to Western air superiority. Second, it makes planes much more survivable in a real fight. A jet that stays stealthy at supersonic speeds is incredibly hard to track and shoot down. It can get closer to its targets, react faster, and control the fight. The coating's toughness also has major strategic benefits. At the 2025 Chongchun Air Show, observers noted that jets with new coatings seem to need very little maintenance, with surfaces that were weather-resistant and easy to clean. This means less downtime, lower costs, and more planes ready to fly at any given moment. An air force that can fly more missions with better jets has a huge upper hand in any conflict. But this technology doesn't exist in a bubble. It fits perfectly into China's bigger anti-access, area denial, A2, AD, strategy. The goal of A2, AD is to create a defensive bubble that makes it too risky for an opponent to operate near China's coast. By improving their own stealth while also getting better at detecting others, they're building a layered defense designed to dominate the airspace, making the Indo-Pacific a very dangerous place for any adversary. The potential here goes way beyond just fighter jets. The same things that make this coating great for AJ-20 also make it perfect for other key military hardware. Hypersonic weapons, which fly at over five times the speed of sound, create insane amounts of heat. A coating that can handle 1000 degrees Celsius while absorbing radar is exactly what's needed to make these weapons survivable. We can also expect to see this tech on spy drones and even satellites. Protecting these eyes in the sky from both heat and detection is vital for intelligence and communication. The researchers even noted the design could be tweaked to absorb millimeter wave and terahertz frequencies, which could future-proof their aircraft against the next generation of sensors. Of course, developing revolutionary materials is one thing. Scaling them for mass production without running into bottlenecks or quality issues is a whole other challenge. Still, this is a clear sign of China's rapid progress in materials science, an area that has long been a key strength of the West. It shows an integrated strategy, where a breakthrough in one area is used to boost an advantage in another. But what's your take? Is this breakthrough enough to give China a definitive edge in the skies, or is it just one piece in a much bigger, more complicated puzzle? Let us know what you think in the comments. And if you're getting value out of this analysis, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more deep dives into the tech that's shaping our world. This 1000 degree coating is more than just a slick piece of engineering. It points to a potential shift in military aviation. It tackles a core weakness in stealth, boosts the survivability and readiness of China's air force, and has uses that stretch all the way to space. This development highlights China's ambition to not just catch up to, but leapfrog existing military tech. The race for sixth-generation air superiority is on, and with this move, China has shown they aren't just in the race, they're trying to set the pace.